Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to make our own very busy spider. Um, we read that we just finished reading the story, The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. And so we're going to make our own very busy spider in her spider web. And she actually caught a little fly too. So on this, we're going to use a paper plate, some yarn. We're going to use our scissors just to begin with. We're going to use a hole punch just to begin with. And we're going to need some tape. And if you have a kind of a bead around the house, go ahead and use one of those too. But you don't have to have the bead. And the good thing about this is if you get tired of it being a spider web, you can change it into a dream catcher by adding some string, yarn, and feathers at the bottom. So our very first thing that we do is that we're going to cut out the center or flat part of the plate. So this is, um, if you have uh, like a four or five year old or six year old or whatever, um, that's pretty good at doing the uh, paper skills. Go ahead and have them cut it. If you have a toddler who is not into scissors yet, um, you're going to need some parental help here. And what you want to do is just cut out the whole center, just like this. So then what you want to do is with a hole punch, you just want to go around and you want to go in to this part here and just about every inch, every inch and a half, Punch a hole. All the way around. And this, they will be weaving their own web. So every web is unique. You can do this any way you want. I am going to use blue yarn today so it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing and a good way to start this yarn ravels and then it gets too fat and you can't get it through the hole and you get upset so what you want to do moms or dads grown-ups is take a little piece of tape And with this little piece of tape, you just want to wrap it, roll it right around the tip of the yarn. That way, your yarn will not unravel. And it also gives the yarn some stability. So it's easier for our little friends to get it through the holes. So you want to start first. Now I did, this is a long piece of yarn and it would be very difficult for a little friend to be doing something like this. And the great thing about this project is if you take a piece of yarn that's like this long, it is workable. It won't be uh, frustrating for a little friend. And if you don't have enough of a web, if they want to keep weaving when you've run out of this one, then you just give them another piece of yarn and let them start again. So what you want to do is stay. Is take a piece of tape and glue the end to the inside part of your plate. So now you have your yarn and you're ready to go. 
So they come up through a hole and then they choose another hole to go through. They can go across anywhere they want. And it's just in and out, down and up. And this is good eye, eye hand coordination. And they just continue any way they want until they have a web. If they want to go into the same hole that they've already been in, that's fine. This is their web. They're making their web. And so when you get to the end of the yarn, like I have, you go ahead, take a piece of tape, and glue on the back, and snap off any excess. They could be done now. If they're done and they're happy with this, that's great. Um, what I have done, if you wanted to continue or they didn't want to continue, but they wanted to have a bead in there, you would have to do it before you glued it onto the, taped it onto the back. Um, but I'll show you that in a second. If they're done and they don't want a bead, you don't have a bead, um, you can get little spiders at the Dollar Tree again. Yay, Dollar Tree. And little spider will just fit right in to your yarn. And they've made their little web. If they wanted more yarn, and they wanted to have a fancier, more extensive web, a crazy one like this, then all you do is get another piece of yarn, You would tape the end again, so it's easy for them to go in and out without having the yarn unravel. Pick a place, a hole where they have not had the yarn going yet. And have them go again, in and out up and down until they have made the web that they're happy with. Like I said, it can be a few strands. It can be a lot of strands, any way they want their web. And so say they're happy with it, but they want to have a bead in it. So since you have taped the end, it's very easy to get the bead in on there. And so it doesn't go up and down and slide all over the place. Once you have it in on the thing, you want to go ahead and tie it. Just take your yarn, a simple little knot like that, and it'll hold that bead in that place. So let's go ahead and put this one in. So here is the little bug that I caught. I'm going to end my web. This is very good um, practice. Lacing is very good practice for those little hands. So here we have our little bug that we caught in our web. And we have our little spider that is in our web. And now here's our very busy spider. Thank you.